Okay, today we're going to be looking at the carbon fiber push-up mast uh, manufactured and sold by Gigaparts. Uh, they've got a 25 foot, a 34 foot, and a 50 foot version. This is the 50 foot version because height is might, as they say. <laughs> so this is the carbon fiber mast and the, the top several sections are all the same on um, each one and then they add the, the larger sections on the bottom. So this one's a bigger round on the bottom and requires a different type of mount on the bottom than the other ones do because it's taller, it's got more sections. So let's take a look today. Shut up and sit down. Hey guys, this is Jason, Ham Radio 2.0. We're out here at Field Day 2020 and we're getting set up. Uh, field Day starts in about two hours local time and I thought I'd take this opportunity to do some you know, reviews, videos, figure out what's going on, get, uh, get some things going here. Uh, this is our camp in the back. Everybody wave. Yeah. So, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use this carbon fiber mask today to set up the MFJ cobweb antenna, which I actually broke coming down here. I did a, I did a, uh, I did a video setting up and building that antenna a while back, and I never finished it because I wanted to, well, I wanted to, a couple different reasons, but I'll get into that later in another video. So we're going to try to finish that video today and put up a video about the MFJ cobweb. I'm going to put it on top of this thing. So first I wanted to take a look at the uh, carbon fiber mast from Gigaparts. So the cool thing about this, well, <clears throat> how it snaps together, I should say. So how this snaps together is it comes in five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's got ten and they're all incrementally smaller in that fit inside one each other. That one's got marked as a one. You might not be able to see that in camera. It's stamped as a two right there. So if you take them apart, because they come apart and you can do different stuff with them. But so each, so since it's a 50 foot mast and there's ten sections, each section is five feet. Very basic. And the top section actually comes open. So you could even put something else in there if you wanted to, like maybe a small wooden dowel with a pulley drilled through it to string up dipoles, or maybe some sort of uh, a mount for a vertical antenna, if that's what you wanted to operate on. But so you can open this one up and you pull it up and it's nice because you know when you pulled it up to its hi highest, because it turns red right here. So it's got the red port. Then of course it pulls completely out if you want to use that. Uh, if you want to take a couple sections out and use it a different way, make it a 25 foot instead of a 50 foot, you can do that. You can bring this back down in here till the red is gone, crank it down, and then you've got that section that's out. For the MFJ cobweb antenna, the section that fits most into it, best into it, is this three or four section here. So I took the top two or three sections off and used the wider diameter section to go into the bottom of the cobweb, and that's how we did that. Something else that is neat is that there's an adjustable tension on each one right here. So if you've got something that like maybe some a heavier antenna on top or something that's lighter weight, you can adjust, you can use this screw here to adjust the tension. All right, so I did not end up using this 50 foot mast at field day because we ended up using uh, one of those military four foot section pole things to put the, the MFJ cobweb on. And that worked out well. I thought I was going to use this for something else. Did not end up using it at all for anything. Not that there's anything at all wrong with it. I just, we were just kind of trying a bunch of different experiments at Field Day. Field Day was fun, but it was, a, it was an experimentation galore. I didn't even really shoot a Field Day video specifically about Field Day because I was busy doing videos from other antennas and blah 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 so by the time this posts you're going to see most of that so one thing i did learn this thing being 50 foot this is not heavy at all right now but when you extend it out all the way you extend all 10 of these sections out to a total of 50 feet it's next to impossible to pull it up by yourself okay if you've got like a trailer hitch that you can mount it to and then lift up and then one of those liftable trailer hitches then then great um but figure out your mounting for just like this and push it up until you see the red just lower it back down 
just like that. Now you're going to want to do the top, I just, I did the bottom section, so I did the wrong section. You want to do the top section first and the next one up, the next one up, so that you can reach it. But I would suggest mounting it first and then extending it one section at a time. Because that way, that's the wrong one, there you go. You can, uh, and if you're short like I am, you might need a ladder like that, and then you just keep going up with it. So you're gonna want to make sure that your, your base is stable, it's guide off if you're guying it. Um, you're gonna wanna make sure your antenna's on the top and your coax is connected to your antenna because it's gonna be 50 foot in the air. Either, either the apex of the antenna, if you're hanging an inverted V, is gonna be 50 feet in the air, or if you're hanging a sloper, then the, the feed point of the center fed or officer center fed dipole is gonna be somewhere along that line, so you're gonna to wanna to put that on first. Or, if you're doing an end fed and you have your feed line on the, on the ground, that might actually be easier. You put the, the top of the end fed all the way up in the air, 50 feet in the air, and then move your uh, end fed ground feed point location anywhere you want to. And some, you know, some of those uh, end fed antennas like the, the myantennas.com end uh, fed antenna that we used in Costa Rica had radials off of it. So we, we put the feed point on the ground, it went up to a 40 foot tower and then radials went out in either direction from it. But this is a good, like I said at the beginning of the video, they can't keep these things in stock. I think he actually went up on the price on, on them recently, or at least a 50 foot model he did. Because of all the increases of shipping prices, getting stuff, I mean, these are ma manufactured in the USA, but you know, shipping costs right now are kind of outrageous. Shipping times are even more outrageous. Um, parts and delivery and everything, and it's just, just materials cost has gone up everything due to this pandemic that we're all going through right now. But, so he's raised the price on these, but I still think that, uh, I still think it's hard for him to keep them in stock. So check out gigaparts.com. There will be a link in the description below. And uh, you can check out the, and if you don't need one that's 50 foot, again, they come in three different sizes. They come in a 25 foot, a 34 foot, and a 50 foot. I got the 50 foot because I wanted the biggest one because you can always take sections off of it, like this. And now it's 45 feet, because each section is five feet. So you can always make the 50 foot smaller, but you can't make the 25 foot any longer. 73 guys, put your comments below. Let me know if you've used this. Let me know what you think about it, and we will catch you next time.